Hey friends, today we have another found footage horror game called the Lancaster Leak. And together we are going to experience tapes that were allegedly leaked by an FBI intern. Apparently, this is a horror that the FBI does not want us to see. I've seen some footage of this game and it really takes the whole VHS aesthetic up to the next level. Like, it is gorgeous. But in terms of its contents, I have no idea what we're about to find. And no idea what the FBI was trying to hide from us. Before we get started with the game though, here is my checkup with you guys. How are you doing? At the time of recording, life for me has been pretty good. I spent some time at a local Comic Con with my brother who competes in cosplay competitions, and I actually played in a Super Smash Brothers tournament and got second place. I was expecting to do much worse, so second place I will take. It's really fun to go to an event and see a bunch of other people that are also really passionate about the same things that you're passionate about, and it's kind of like this general vibe that everyone that was there got it. Like, we know we're all here because we like the same stuff. It's like a community of people that know each other without really knowing each other, if that makes sense. And that's kind of how I feel with you guys. I feel like we're all passionate about similar things. And this experience doesn't really feel like I'm just playing a game for strangers. It feels like we're friends that are experiencing something together for the first time, and we get to talk about it afterwards. We get to talk about our theories, what we liked about the game, what's important to us, and just a little bit about our lives in general. I hope you guys are in a good place right now. Now. With that being said, let's go on another adventure together and figure out exactly what the FBI was hiding with the Lancaster Leak O'Brien State Park. Here we go. The following tape and many others were recovered by FBI intern Valerie Bardet and given to us. Okay. Interesting. Valerie Bartett, leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster, California. Foul play is suspected. Hmm. So why did she leak the tapes? There's something they were hiding. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance, and this will be your last. Okay. Guys, we have one chance at this. What did she want... FBI warning, the information conveyed through this debrief training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It's imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with this directive will result in prosecution to the fullest extent under the law. You have been warned. Okay. What were they hiding? Why did Valerie want to get it out? Is this something for the general public? Tape purpose debrief date. August 25th, 1988. Clearance TS. Case type. Missing persons. Entity. Present. Status. Resolved. O'Brien State Park, previously inhabited by both Dakota and a- and... I'm not sure how to pronounce that, tribes. It is now home to year-round camper and hikers. The park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The cause was unknown until found footage of missing persons Bradley Kaufman provided something. Here's Bradley Kaufman. On August 25th, 1988, Bradley Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual, and he intermittently started recording at various times. Medical records revealed no history of mental health concerns. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and they recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order, accompanied by annotations. And the recovered footage, excuse me. Uh, text goes by fast, guys, sorry. Oh my goodness, is this the game? Look at this! I can barely see! The subject initiated recording. The reason for their sudden recording activity is unknown. The subject would occasionally zoom on certain objects. Okay, so this is as if we we're recording this live. And we can see better once we zoom in, but man, this... I mean, we're working with... Oh, okay, we do have a flashlight button. We're not working with much here. What's in the camper? General... General items. Wow, this is something else in terms of the visuals, guys. It looks very pretty in motion, I will say. But... Subject turned right and went to the bathroom shower. We can see it on the bottom. They're, like, instructing us what happened even though we're playing it out live. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Brian Kaufman. I wonder if Kaufman is a reference to Silent Hill. Kaufman. Are those, uh... 
Lightning bugs? Hmm. Yeah, stuff is really hard to see in the distance. The scan lines and the, um... You know, general low fidelity of the VHS tape. Really kind of... What's this? Another campsite? We can't go there. Okay. So, multiple campsites along this path. Oh! And we're heading to the bathroom? Who was that? Can I go check? Is there someone there? Uh, I don't see any motion. I was just looking for motion because it's very hard to discern exactly what we're looking at. Okay, and what's this here? Another campsite. Now, they said animal-like attacks at the beginning. I'm obviously skeptical. I don't think it's an animal. I think it's something that the FBI wanted to cover up. Okay, and I think these are the bathrooms here. Possibly. I can't read that. Regardless. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hello? Oh, this is eerie. This reminds me of the bathrooms in Slender the Arrival. Okay, cracked walls. And to be honest, I expected worse out of a bathroom. Is someone using the shower? In the middle of... the night? Pause one. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It's estimated ten minutes elapsed before the subject films again. The subject returns to the campsite. Well, yeah. I guess we don't want to... ...film the shower. So who else was in here? Okay. I imagine this is filled with bugs if the door is open. Yeah, there's someone else in here. Someone's, uh... Using the facilities? Okay. So nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, it makes sense to pause the camera while you're... ...taking care of business. The sound is creepy. Because... ...all we can hear is the chirping of crickets... ...the muffling sound of our boots hitting the ground... ...and the quietness... ...of the forest. Zooming in definitely helps... ...see things more clearly, and maybe that's why things look blurry, is because they encourage you to zoom in to get a better look at things. Um... I find in a lot of horror games, I rarely use the zoom-in feature. I heard something. Hmm. It sounded like an... animal? Who's that? Pause 2. Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. Neither campground records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. Is this a skinwalker? Pause 2. The largest jump of times happened at this point within an estimate of one to two hours' time elapsed. The recording resumes with the subject two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started the hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. Yeah. I love the art direction of this game, like, they fully committed. So... Now I'm on a hike in the middle of the woods? At night? Okay. Down we go, but... What was that? I'm not sure... 
there are a few different, like, creatures that can mimic the sounds of animals or, and, and people. There's skinwalkers, the goat man I know is one of them. I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure what the Wendigo can do. Um, but there's a couple, and, and it's such a, it's such a creepy thing, because it's like the whole idea of, number one, subverting expectations, but something that seems familiar, but isn't, and that's, that's such a tried and true way to scare somebody. I hear something. Very faintly. I hear something. And I think it was just an animal? Nothing. Hmm. Hello? Why would you take a hike at this time? My grass almost looks like it's like reaching out to grab me. Oh! Playing the long game, right? Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna leave that in. That's embarrassing. Okay. See, I knew it was an animal. See, we're right. Nothing wrong here. <laughs> oh, man. Be honest. Did that get you guys? Be honest with me. Oh, look at that moon. Wow. And it's a gorgeous night, that's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and take this bridge. This bridge looks like it could collapse at any moment. That is what concerns me. Because that It's, it's something mimicking the sound of an animal. And I can't remember if it's the goat man, the wendigo. I'm sure you guys are really knowledgeable about this stuff and, um, you've given me a lot of tidbits, so. What was that? Yeah. Animal attacks, I bet. The deceased deer was killed by an entity. Okay. Um. Oh! Pulse 3. Subject encountered diseased deer attacked by entity. Diseased. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. I was trying to look at the footprints. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity pursues subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after the pause. This marks the final pause. Okay, are we being chased? Subject is audible for the first time and displaying emotions of fear. Oh god. Are we just out in the middle of the forest? Oh, we can run now. Subject begins running, has multiple sounds of NC surround him. Oh god. Oh god. That is not a deer. That is something pretending to be a deer. I have no idea where it's coming from. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Hello? What is that? 
Christ. It's it's right behind me. Ah, shit! The subject struggles against entity, but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. Did it have horns? I think that's the wind to go. Subject drops flashlight and then camera. It creates a shadow backdrop. Subject's blood creeps into frame. Good lord. Distant entities can be heard. How many of these things are there? I thought there was just like one. End of tape. Bradley Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. I'm pretty sure that was a Wendigo. Subject to autopsy. Subject's remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Yeah. Okay. Tibia found 0.5 miles away. Uh, it ripped, it ripped Kaufman to shreds. Case relevance. The subject's film was the first footage captured of S0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding in special operations to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. S0012. Name, Wendigo. ID, S0012. Risk, severe. Containability, three. Awesome. Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable appetite for human flesh. According to recent intelligence, there has been a notable resurgence of the Wendigo. Wendigo or Wendigo, I'm not sure. And their geographical distribution has now expanded southward toward Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian SCIS uh, to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species and eventual eradication. How many is there? It is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Because you know people would go looking for these things. Okay. Um... Really good stuff. This is a story doesn't end here. Read the associated R no sleep story. Oh, cool. I work as a secretary at a small FBI office. A man in a pink poncho almost killed me. There's a Reddit no sleep story. Consider joining the Discord newsletter. Okay, so, um, I, on the itch.io page, there's going to be more of these tapes. And I am fully invested. I'm absolutely thrilled that there's going to be more of these, probably covering more of these types of, like, urban legends and stuff like that in a very seemingly realistic way. This is from the 1980s, so maybe, you know, some will be more recent. Um, very cool stuff. I like the way the game built tension up until the very last moment. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the jump scare of the deer to break that tension, but at the same time, I see why they did it, because, like, you hear the first set of noise, and it's like, okay, that's a deer. And then you hear the second set, and it's like, wait a minute. That sounds like something pretending to be a deer. I don't know. Just my theory, at least. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast playing it with you. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.